good morning today our topic is division and german experiment so we will discuss division and german experiment today so in our previous class we have studied that according to d broger even matter also shows a uh, wave nature so the wave nature of the material particle as predicted by de Broglie uh, was confirmed by Davison and German through this experiment so let's see the setup of the experiment so this is figure one so the experimental arrangement used by Davison and German is shown in figure one so electron from hot tungsten cathode C so this is hot tungsten cathode C are accelerated by a potential difference V between the cathode and anode so the potential difference between cathode C and anode A is V okay V so since there is a potential difference so electron can we can accelerate electron okay here there is a small hole in the anode na? this small hole through this small hole electron will pass A narrow hole in the anode renders the electrons into a fine beam of electron and allow it to strike the nickel crystal. Nah? So this is nickel crystal. Nickel crystal. So the electron coming out from this small hole, it is a very small hole. Okay, so electron can move straight nah? and very fine electron will strike the nickel the electrons are scattered in all direction by the atoms in the crystal so after striking the electron or the nickel those electrons will scatter in all direction like this okay yeah. some may even pass through the nickel also so mm, suppose this is a nickel na? nickel crystal so inside nickel crystal atoms will be there right atoms electron atoms nah? so when electron strike the nickel see if this is this atom if it is going straight to this atom then it will reflect back nah? or it may sometimes go like this or like this yeah? like this okay so so the electrons will scatter in all direction so what is next the intensity of electron beam scatter in a given direction is found by by the use of a detector so how much electron is scattered in what direction in which direction is can be found using a detector so this detector can record how much electron is scattering in that particular direction eh? So this detector can move, can rotate, okay, like this. So it can record in 
in all directions. So next is by by rotating the dictator about an axis through the point O. The intensity of the scatter beam can be measured for different value of phi. What is this phi? This phi is the angle between the incident and the scatter direction of electron beam. So this is the phi. We can measure how how much um, electron in is scattered in a particular direction if we if we can measure this angle phi so this angle phi is the angle between incident beam and the scatter beam so if this phi is between these two angles between these two lines yeah? between these two lines So the graph is plotted between angle phi and the intensity of scatter electron. So the graph between this angle and the intensity. Intensity means how much electron, nah? the amount of electron scatter, the amount of el electron scatter in that particular direction. Nah? So you see it will be like this okay see in this angle maybe only two electron will go or in this angle maybe four electron nah? so this is intensity okay how much so this detector can detect okay so by by make um, plotting a graph between this angle phi and the intensity of electron the intensity of scatter electron um, the graph are plotted at different between angle phi and intensity of scatter electron so such graph are plotted for different different voltage okay different different voltage okay first voltage v uh, electron uh, pass the electron and record the uh, intensity of scatter electron and then angle phi and then again change the voltage again same record it and plot the graph no? two three times so the experimental graph obtained by Davison and German is this one. So this is figure two. Okay. So after recording for different different voltage, and it was found like this. Okay, the graph was found like this. So what from this graph? Uh, what we what we what we can inference here is number one intensity of scatter electron depends upon the angle of scattering so that means the intensity of scatter electron uh, this scatter it depends upon the angle of scattering This, this angle theta okay it depends on angle of scattering at some particular angle it may be it, it is getting high okay at some particular angle it uh the electron are the intensity of electron is more nah? so that means it depends on the angle of scattering also and then always a bump or a keen occur in the curve at phi equal to 50 degree so 
in angle 50 degree there is always a bump okay this is also 50 degree and this bump no? so at angle 50 there is always a bump it was observed that at angle 50 it was always of uh, a bump the size of the bump goes on increasing as the accelerating voltage is increased so when the voltage is increased even the size of the bump also increases hmm? okay this is 44 volt nah? so the size of the bump is this much so 44 now if increase it become 48 so it is little more nah? 54 it is 54 it is again increasing now here 60 but in 60 we see that it is decreasing the size of the bumps become maximum when accelerating voltage is 54 okay it was observed at 54 the size of the bump is maximum the size of the bump start decreasing okay after maximum it will decrease nah? at 60 now it decreases nah? so it so these are the observation from this experiment now from figure one it follows that figure one look at the figure one so from figure one see this is theta phi theta so what is the total angle so this this is a straight line nah? so straight line is 180 degree nah? so theta plus phi plus theta is 180 degree right <coughs> so theta plus phi plus theta equal to 180 nah? now theta plus theta is 2 theta 2 theta plus phi equal to 180 degree so 2 theta equal to 180 degree now this plus if it goes to other side it will become minus so minus phi so theta equal to 2 2 is into if it goes to other side it will divide nah? so theta we, we are getting theta equal to this much now for phi equal to 50 degree so let's take phi equal to 50 degree okay uh, here we don't have 50 degree nah? or oh, or oh, phi phi equal to 50 degree this one nah? so phi equal let's take five is equal to 50 degree now put the value of five so 180 minus 50 is 130 and 130 divided by 2 is 65 so theta equal to 65 so at 5 equal to 50 degree we get theta equal to 65 degree okay now according to break laws okay this is break laws you might have study in chemistry so now we have theta in because we are going to use theta in break's law that is why we are finding theta okay so now according to break's law 2d sine theta equal to n lambda okay where n is uh, diffraction order here we will use n equal to one we will use the first order only and d is distance between atomic plane means here we are using crystal uh, what crystal nickel nickel crystal nah? so nickel crystal okay nickel crystal these are atomic spacing nah? so distance between two atoms of nickel okay lambda is wavelength theta is angle of incidence
So for nickel crystal, D is 0.91 m strong. That means distance between two atoms or lattice, lattice point na, is 0.91 m strong for nickel crystal. Okay. So now put the value of D in this equation. So 2 into 0.91 m strong sine theta is 65 degree equal to n is 1 na? so 1 into lambda 1 into lambda 1 into lambda is lambda only so when you calculate all this you will get this one 1 1.66 n strong so we are getting lam lambda equal to 1.66 n strong so now the wave nature of electron and hence the de Broglie hypothesis will be confirmed if the de Broglie wavelength of the electron when accelerated through 54 volt comes out to be just 1.66 and strong So now here, um, wavelength of electron or uh, de Broglie wavelength of electron. Uh, you have calculated yesterday, right? Lambda lambda equal to um, twelve point twenty seven divided by root fifty four. So, uh, putting V in the equation, uh, the global wavelength lambda equal to 12.27 12 27 under V. Ne? This we got right. So, here now. We have voltage is 54 volt. So 12.27 divided by 54. See if we get this lambda and this one same then then it is proof. Now when you calculate this one 12.27 div uh, divided by root over 54 you will go you will get 1.65 m strong 1.65 m strong so lambda equal to 1.65 m strong this lambda we get from Davison and german experiment and this lambda from de Broglie hypothesis, na? de Broglie equation. Na? So, both the lambda are same or not. One is 1.66, one second one is 1.65 and so on. So, this is same only, right? As the two results are in remarkable agreement. Na? The the experiment establishes the wave nature of an electron in particulars and of a particles in nature. Electron is what particles na? So this proof that uh, electron electron or particles have wave nature also.